This video covers stakeholder theory and stakeholder classification for ACCA's paper P1, Governance, Risk and Ethics. If you find this free revision video helpful, please let me know by hitting the like button. To view all the free revision videos available for paper P1 and for hints and tips on how to pass your ACCA exams first time, visit my website www.accountingcollege.co.uk or subscribe to my YouTube channel. A stakeholder is anyone who can affect or who can be affected by policies or activities of an organisation. Stakeholder theory is a theory that companies are accountable to more than just shareholders. They are accountable to stakeholders as well. It is an exchange relationship whereby parties exchange benefits. For example, companies pay taxes to the government and the government ensures the infrastructure of its country is kept up to date. Corporate Governance and Stakeholder Theory Corporate governance represents a set of principles, systems and processes by which a company is governed. It provides guidelines on how a company can be directed and controlled so as to reach its goals and objectives and add value and benefit to a company. All of which is in the interest of stakeholders. Stakeholder theory addresses the issue that companies nowadays can be so large and their impact on society and the environment so great that they should be accountable to many sectors of society and not just shareholders. Classification of stakeholders Internal and external stakeholders Internal stakeholders have an operational role in the company and therefore a role in corporate governance of the company also. Directors are responsible for running the company in the best interest of shareholders. Company secretary is responsible for company legislation compliance and for advising the board on corporate governance matters. Sub board management are responsible for implementing board policy and running the company. They identify risks faced by the company, report concerns, enforce controls and monitor success. Employees carry out management orders by complying with internal controls and reporting breaches. Trade unions are employee representatives who protect employee interests. They protect whistleblowers and highlight and take action against breaches in corporate governance of employees. Internal stakeholders' main interests in a company are pay, performance-related bonuses, share options, career progression, status, reputation, power and working conditions. External stakeholders are not members of a company but can affect or be affected by its operations. Auditors are responsible for the independent review of a company's financial position. They are interested in the payment of their fees, their reputation, the quality of their relationship with their client and the compliance of audit requirements. Regulators are responsible for the implementing and monitoring of regulations. They are interested in the effectiveness and compliance of regulations. Government are responsible for implementing, monitoring and maintaining laws which companies must comply with. They are interested in the compliance with law, payment of taxes, employment levels and import-export levels. Stock exchange are responsible for implementing and regulating rules and regulations for companies listed on the stock exchange. They are interested in fee payment and compliance with stock exchange rules and regulations. Small investors invest in the company but have limited power and are interested in the maximization of value of their investment. Institutional investors can have considerable influence on corporate policies. They are interested in the value of shares and dividend paid, the security of funds invested, timeliness of information received from the company and the rights of shareholders being observed. Narrow and wide stakeholders. The effects of an organization's activity on stakeholders can be described as narrow and wide. Narrow being those most affected by the actions of an organization, such as shareholders, employees, customers, suppliers, and so forth. Wide being those less affected by the actions of an organization, 
such as government, wider community, and so forth. Primary and secondary stakeholders. Basically, not all stakeholders are equal. Some stakeholders are less important to a business than others. Primary stakeholders are those groups seen by the business to be vital to the organization's success or failure. They have direct influence over the business, for example, government, shareholders, customers, etc. Secondary stakeholders are those groups who feel involved in the business success or failure, whether or not management agree. They have limited direct influence on the business and without whom the business would survive, for example, the community, pressure groups, etc. Active and passive stakeholders is a classification used to describe the level of interest a stakeholder has in the business. Active stakeholders seek to actively participate in the business activities. For example, employees, pressure groups, regulators, suppliers, and so forth. Passive stakeholders do not seek to participate in the organization's activities. For example, government, customers, etc. Voluntary and involuntary stakeholder classification describes those stakeholders that engage with the organization voluntary and those that have no choice but to engage with the organization involuntarily. Voluntary stakeholders choose to participate in the activities of the organization, such as employees, environmental groups, active shareholders, and so forth. Involuntary stakeholders do not choose to participate in the activities of the organization. Rather, they are affected by the organization's activities. For example, local communities, natural environment, future generations, etc. Legitimate and illegitimate stakeholders is a very subjective classification. The extent to which the claim of a stakeholder is considered to be valid depends on your viewpoint. Legitimate stakeholders are those with an active economic relationship with an organization. Illegitimate stakeholders are those stakeholders who are viewed as not having a legitimate claim, meaning their views are not taken into account when making decisions. If you found this free revision video helpful, please let me know by hitting the like button. To view all the free revision videos available for paper P1 and for hints and tips on how to pass your ACCA exams first time, visit my website www.accountingcollege.co.uk or subscribe to my YouTube channel.